Hey folks, Quill18 here, welcome to an episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars! It's Green Planet, we're playing as a terraforming initiative. Uh, we've got a bit of a bottleneck on some advanced resources, but I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. We do have a cargo rocket that's bringing some more over here, which is gonna be good. And, uh, yeah, mostly we just don't have enough, uh, workers kicking around over here to be able to handle that. But we are regularly shipping away some rare metals, keeping our money up, which is going to go a long way towards helping. We have too much fuel generation here, which is funny because we actually do burn some of it for the greenhouse gas. Uh, but that's okay. While they're sitting idle, they're not really consuming uh, as many resources, so we're going to be okay. We had a little bit of a shortage of power at night, so we are going to be building these once we get a few more machine parts. It changed the priority of the machines parts factory, but then it would just take it away from maybe other things I don't want them to take priority away from. So, bum, bum, bum. you're ready to land with some resources, so I'm going to drop those here. But yeah, we mostly just need some more people, and it doesn't help that we've got some earth sick people um, along the way. Did I remember to queue up the new apartments over here? Okay, I do. Okay, we're fine. Okay. But yeah, we, we need to convince people to stick around here. Uh, and it might just be that this dome doesn't have enough of its comfort things. Yeah, they're pretty cranky. Not working, our full, no gambling gaming. I don't think we're gonna build a casino over here though. There's not that many people that actually want it. Why is the average comfort so low? You. Social is full, it was closed, shopping was closed. I guess it doesn't help that there's not enough people to keep these buildings open all the time. Maybe what I should do, um, I'm gonna cancel one of the ships at Martian University for now. I'll keep a few more people. Oh, inner light psychometry. New research and the mystery of the dreamers is now available. Yeah, we'll probably add that to the queue. Um, domeless farming, I think we're a little while before we can successfully do that. Oh, it's only a thousand. Here we go, we'll put it at the front of the queue. Continue the mystery because it's quite a good mystery. All right, you're unloading many resources. I'm hoping the comfort was just low because we did have a couple of like power and oxygen shortages very temporarily, I think in the meteor or meteor storm, middle of the meteor storm, blah. But uh, should be better. Lots of batteries and storages of things over here. You have a local moxie. You don't have a local water generation, although very low. Still, we might want to go and, and access that. Very low and high. You know, there's probably another good spot for us to go and flatten out. There we go. I think our Mars is gonna end up looking very boring very soon. Resources are low. Uh, idle dis- Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna have a problem with water now because that just ran out. We're gonna launch you. We'll probably have to send some um, evaporator prefabs. But yeah, let's go and expand to here. Um, we'll probably have to change this later on to provide space for our, um, our tunnels. But then we'll also be able to change where our various um, where these cables and stuff are going to be running later, so it'll be okay. Let's run you this way and here. We'll double up on this. Something like that. I don't know if you're going to be cable connected. There we go. Get this up and running as quickly as possible. Not that because these are poor, this is a poor deposit, it's not going to generate that much water. But it'll be a start. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to turn off all my fuel refineries. I mean, they already had low priority, but I'm going to explicitly turn them off right now because we have tons of fuel stored up. Yeah, 750. Tons of fuel stored up. So. Uh, we're going to turn them off so that we actually accumulate water and fill up our water supply. Otherwise, what would happen is they would drain all the water, and then they would be the last priority, but then that wouldn't leave us with a water buffer, which seems kind of like a bad thing. Research complete. But yeah, this will get smooth, which will help. There we go. We've researched this, so psychometry. Number of dreamers, strength in the mirage. Children of dreamers, better chance of becoming dreamers. Genius column has been added to the applicant pool. Well, that's very nice. 
And yeah, I don't remember what our dreamer trait does. Um, ch 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 colonist, quirk, dreamer. Um, hold on, reset filters. I think we had maybe a specialization. There we go. Dreamers make sense of the shared dream, but lose sanity during mirages. Interesting. All right, so right now it's dreamers are not necessarily good, but they will be. You're full of concrete, which is okay. I mean, I don't think we have a dedicated concrete depot over here, though, which seems like the sort of thing we should probably have, because I think right now it's just going to the uh, universal. So we'll get that going and in place. More people are sick. Yeah, this is, um, we're definitely having a hard time keeping our pool of people maxed out here. 46. Okay, well, it's better than it was, and it's rising. Okay, I think there was a temporary comfort problem. It has bounced back. There's probably still going to be a few people that leave, but overall, we're okay. Water is minus one during the day here. This was what? Poor? Yeah, very low. I think I'll still have to build another um, water extractor over here, though. A little dumping site. Keep that area neat. Yeah, vaporators. Uh, maybe I can get away without shipping vaporators from home. Mm, I mean, we don't have any money right now, anyway. Research so you're waiting for more exports to be accumulated. Productivity low. training for engineers and geologists. That actually will be really handy. Yeah, that's still pretty dead here. Not sure, population's actually rising. Vacant work slot. I think someone, well, someone may have just become earth sick again. So you've got that, you've got that. Our water amount's not going up though. Oh, 0 0.02 per soul. <whistles> and more water increases the moisture evaporator stuff, which is nice. All right, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to turn off the automation for you. So you arrived. can just launch as is. Maybe we can get colonists coming a little faster. I mean, there's text to bring more colonists per shuttle, which also might be kind of valuable. But it's not as valuable as some of these other things. Supportive colony. Yeah, because we may have some sanity breakdowns. I don't know. Of course, our Martian borns won't leave, although if our comfort's too low, then they're not going to... Uh, we're not going to have more Martian born. And the problem is right now we're sort of to catch 22. We need more people to keep things going. What I'll do is I'll turn off the security station. I'll turn off some of these low priority buildings. So we sort of need the manufacturing to keep working. Um, maybe I should turn off this metal extractor for now. We have tons of metal. Let's not worry about the mine. There we go. So you have vacant uh, residential slots. Um, at this point, actually, with 22, I could blow up one apartment. Although then, yeah, no, that wouldn't work out. What we'll do is we'll keep the vacant slots. Right now, we've got all the workers done and they're prioritizing the right thing. Later on, we'll be op able to open this and that once again when we get more people. But now this dome is going to work much better with the machine parts factory fully filled up. Excellent. So now it's the other dome over here, which has a bunch of work slots. Um, it's got more work slots than residential slots. We'll have to build another um, apartment. Funding received. Okay, a few rare metals, which is fine. But yeah, we'll just send a passenger rocket here. That will fill up the housing more or less. I guess I will build another apartment. So that it's ready to go. Especially since we clearly have more room for more work stuff over here. All right, we're probably better now. Yeah, having closed those extra offices is gonna be really good because it's gonna maintain our base construction. At some point, we'll be able to open the second shift at the university again. Still not enough workers at the grocer. And we're nowhere near maxing out these either. Um, I'm gonna explicitly turn this off. I'll leave it low priority. But yeah, just make sure it's explicitly off. Um, and you know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll turn this one off as well to save a little bit of power. 
since we don't have enough workers to work them all anyway. This is our richest, right? This average. Yeah, they're both average. So yeah, just work one for now. And maybe we'll redone that. Electronics factory fully kitted out. You still have empty work slots. Including at the farm, which is a little unfortunate. Soil quality is coming up pretty well, though. Let's go ahead and get this ready for potatoes. We'll slow down our cycle a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. More passengers over here. That's going to help a lot. I think the first thing I'll do is actually open the extra work shift at the university. Maybe I'll do that now. New colonists have arrived. Colonists are departing. Mysterious mirages are running, which is upsetting some people and causing our dreamers to lose sanity. <laughs> oh, fleeting reality. The watcher senses your later that evening. Oh, you stand next to the watcher. Yeah, I, like I, I know I'm skipping through these, and I'm sorry, but it is a great story. Uh, we'll jump in front and telepathically project the message. I don't know if it really matters. I think you you sort of get to the end more or less regardless, and you get the the, the bonus from completing the mystery regardless on this, but I'm not sure. But we're going to do sort of the right thing. We're going to take the, bra the brave decisions. Supportive community, so less chance of developing flaws. Sustainable architecture, less maintenance is going to be very good. Um, part of me is like, do we just work on the moisture farming here? We may have to. And we'll probably want that before lake crafting, because the lakes require a lot of water. Just leave it out for now. Oh, there's... Oh, there we go. Martian copyrights. Yeah, 10,000. Take sanity damage. Decorations have increased comfort. I think there's a lot of value in that. Um, no, let's go ahead. We'll get... Um, water conservation is cheaper... There. Sustainable architecture. So save some parts on maintenance, which is very valuable. Then our domes need less water. Then an ability for us to produce more water. Fuel. We still have over 600. I don't really need to ship the shuttles as often anymore. Although we do have enough rare metals. We could go back to automation. You're done, because we have the full scan. So unless there's a meteor storm, we're not going to get any more anomalies. Uh, I say that. Can you not reach this? Looks like an anomaly you can scan to me. It could be that it can't be reached. In which case, we may have to do just a little smoothing, but we'll see where this gets to. Because it might be that it can't fit here. Actually, there's a bunch of... St oh, yeah, you can't. Although, why isn't my transport picking up this stuff? The automation is on. I do not know, but let's go ahead... And let's keep a little flatten job over here. So our dozer is going to go out there and do that. Did we lose the water that was here? Or was I just flattening this area for the funsies? Oh yeah, no, this is the double water that I flattened. Okay, good. Uh, very low and high over here. Yeah, let's um make sure these things are connected. One, two, and I'll get another one on the low as well. Get there, and there, and then here, and here, and something like that. Excellent. Plenty of dumping sites. I think one of those was out of range of a drone commander. Yeah, I guess... You know what? I guess maybe I just won't bother with this one. Yeah, that's okay. All right.
right, so that'll ensure plenty of water coming in. Again, I'd like the vaporator so that we don't have to constantly dig stuff out, but that's going to be okay. Uh, we can go and get more passengers, certainly. Um, in fact, we've got enough living space for even more, and we can turn on work slots again when they get here. What I'll do, for example, is I'll go and enable this. Uh, we do have the second shift over here, and then the second shift over there as well. There's actually not that many um, that many specialist jobs required, which is surprising to me. I mean, we have already graduated a bunch of people, but yeah. Uh, machine parts and concrete. Concrete and machine parts. We're going to ask for them to be delivered here so that they can go and build slash maintain that. And we'll be in good shape. You're going over here digging this, or are you? Oh, you're broken down. Yeah, there are some dust storms over here. But yeah, we'll probably end up also tunneling to here. I don't know, maybe not. Because maybe we won't build over there. Alright, power's good at least during the day. I don't think I saw any negative power during the night. I hope not, anyway. Lots of people coming. You're being repaired. We got this. We'll be able to start... Wow, well, I was going to say start the second dome soon. No, we'll probably... We've got room in here. We're going to want to develop this a little bit more. Double work shifts here. And you have arrived. Let me bring the RC commander back home somewhere safe. All the fuel refineries are turned off, which I'm still okay with for now. Let's not drain any water from the underground sources if we don't have to at this time. Meteor defense system, that is certainly something we're kind of interested in. Because there's a lot of meteors. We'll probably just protect the domes over here. And maybe our, gener or our huge power grids. Drop you down. So yeah, we're gonna need to open some more some more ships here. So I'll do this and this. It's still set to low priority, which is good. Other things get first crack. Still a little unemployment. I could get a little research thing over here, especially since we do have a bonus, which seems like an okay idea. Got a research lab. Um, yeah, tuck it in over here. And you're ready to go. We can probably do some spying, actually. Yeah. So-called auto. And then... Steal over here, too. Excellent. Bit of a leak. Renegades. Right, the security thing is off. Do I want to turn this on? At some point, I want to turn the mine back on, but again, we have tons of metal. So no, not yet. Job situation here, they can... Okay, good. So we don't need to pull in more people. Not until we, like, develop more stuff over here. Uh, rare metals is going to be made fast enough here that we'll probably turn on our auto trade again. Magnetic filtering was taken. So that's for our moxies. Research complete. And extractor application, that's an early research. We can spend more power to extract faster. I mean, hey, it's still nice to have done. Let's go and repair you. Yeah, these guys keep getting taken out by these um, sandstorms. Not sandstorms, the, I don't know, whirling dervishes? I don't know what you call them. The sand tornadoes. You're gonna land there. You're gonna land over there. Yeah, I'll probably put you back on auto because now that we're mining all the rare metals pretty quickly go you're gonna get that and the other one is gonna go spy on Russia to steal some more technology done so uh, do we set up a school so we probably have some kids let's do it so the nursery over here and then we can tuck in another little small garden right there. We might want to give a kid's playground. There we go, some kids around. So the school can take up to 10. I guess a second nursery would be fairly appropriate here. So that leaves room for 12 kids. 
uh, nursery. Got to make sure not to put a big wedge in here because we want to be able to tunnel across to the other, the other thing. And yeah, we'll move where these pipes are and things. The chief security officer shared his dreamer trait can be taught in schools. Ooh, translates to the dreamers can be simulated to Delta hypnosis. Possible for us to train children if we believe it's justified. Well, let's do it. We have a school. Survivor. Okay. Brown boost every time new tech is researched. Sanity losses are halved. Lose less health. Survivor is quite good. High morale. Um, I think I'll take nerd off and put in dreamer. Research. I hope that we're gonna be okay. We stole low G fungi. Okay, again, we're not sure that if we're gonna set up fungi farms. We'll see. Foods at 605, which is pretty good right now. Rare minerals are gonna be shipped out. We got no anomalies to work on right now. What we probably want to do is work on some more greenification of the planet. Um, but we need more seed production for that. And yeah, we're gonna need to be able to put down a bunch of lakes, which we'll get to, we'll get to. Do, 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 do. More exports as well, yes. I think it will ship this one home. Disabled work slots, vacant residential slots. We can build some small buildings here, turn on some work slots. Although I think a lot of them are maybe nighttime. Oh, mysterious mirages again. Yeah, I think I think a lot of them are just night shift jobs that are turned off. Oh, I could put on the research lab during the day. That's not bad. But yeah, it's going to be about time for us to open another dome, isn't it? Although, right, you still have room for work and people. Okay, now we'll send some more some more people over here. And that's without the security station working. If I turn that on, maybe just trim down the jobs. Um, actually, no, you can ultimately sustain all of these. Yeah, you just need you just need more people. Resources are good. We should be producing just about everything. Yeah, we'll just import some more people over here. But things should be much better. We clearly have a lot of Martian-born. I mean, if nothing else, we can confirm that uh, we've got uh, some children. Maybe not a ton, actually. What I can probably do over here is if we do have any children, we're going to want to encourage them to come to this dome rather than stick around in the other one because we actually have housing and quote-unquote jobs for them over here. And we could uh, encourage non-specialists to come here as well, but... I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. I think that's just more or less gonna happen on its own. So this one might get built up as a research dome. Passenger rocket, launch. And yeah, the more passenger tech, like it would be nice if it save us some clicks. And it would develop our colony a little bit faster, but it doesn't give it the same boost as some of the other techs, so I'm still prioritizing that, yeah. The less maintenance is going to help. I mean, our production's already gotten really good. Our electronics are actually, we're smoking it. Although, when we develop a research dome, it is going to get hammered pretty heavily there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Um, no, maybe, I don't know. I guess we could set up the construction and just turn it off. We still need this to be worked a little bit more consistently. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll start the construction of this dome. I'm gonna do this one because it's got the science spots, actually a 20% boost science spot, which is really good. Research complete. Sustainable architecture, thank you. Saving maintenance, again, it's only the in-dome stuff. At some point, we'll get the out-dome one. Uh, this keeps people living quite a bit longer. Um, we actually might want to do the carbonate processor to start developing the atmosphere. Actually, here's the thing. We won't have to worry about meteors once we have an atmosphere. Well, we do have to get it above 80. And that will have to be hooked up to the magnetic field generator as well. The order in these is maybe put it a little reversed, but... Deep scanning, power... Ecology is going to have value. The other thing, too. No concrete. Um, 
Hmm. There's certainly more stuff we want. I guess we'll, we'll focus on, on the water conservation still for a little bit more. It's gonna be good. And then, yeah, if we can start growing seeds and then getting more of that going there. I mean, we can import it 50% cheaper. We do actually have money now. So we could consider pumping more seeds in here and then setting up more of the, um, the fertility spreaders. So we still have to get the soil quality up first. So lichen first and then the rest. Colonists. Oh, I don't know if I want to drop them here. I think they're going to have to get shuttled to the other place now. Yeah, unemployed and homeless. They will get shuttled over, but whoops. I should have definitely landed you somewhere else. My bad. Meteor shower incoming. Meteor shower incoming. Mm, that's fine. Okay, you're being built up. What I can do as soon as you're built, I'll turn you off so you don't take up any resources. And then we're gonna see. Yeah, you don't auto um, build the little bridges here. Okay. from here. What's blocking? Oh, okay. There we go. That's fine. And then, yeah, I'll just put a little power cable right there. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Just gotta rebuild some stuff real quick. Oh, right. This doesn't connect anymore. Right. Um, because this dome doesn't exist, so it doesn't pass things through. Uh, although, you know what? I can do that for now. There we go. You ready to take off? Please do. There are earth sick colonists. Ah, earth sick people again. Darn it. All right. We'll just leave here this here for a second. Space unemployed. Yeah, we can probably go and develop. Resources are okay-ish. So let's assume we're gonna have one, two, and three apartments. Let's make sure I don't forget a large garden. And then my little small gardens here, here, and here. You're gonna get your basic services set up, um, which is a diner, an infirmary, a grocer. Uh, there's gonna be a fair amount of scientists here. I think they drink or they want to gamble. They want one of those things. We shall see. Um, research and things. So research lab. We're gonna get a trio of them. Uh, maybe I'll do. I'll assume we want the the, um, the tunnel here. So. I do this. There's a little spot right back there for the tunnel. Hopefully I'll remember that. And yeah, what we'll do is we'll encourage scientists to come here. More of this get built up. We could build a farm in here too because I have the tech where farms increase comfort. It feels like I want to do that. Funding received. Rare metals, you've arrived there. Let's keep going with passengers. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll turn this dome on now. Okay. Later on, we'll probably get an arcology in here. Doom, doom, doom. And this dome can actually work these mining sites as well, so there's a little bit more flexibility about how people get to various places for various jobs, which might lead to weirdness, but I think it'll be okay. Leak detected. Way over here. More rare metals. Okay, so we've got tons of money. 
We've got a fair number of negatives kicking in right now, but I think we're okay. What I'm gonna do is our moxies. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade them all to magnetic filtering. Wrong address. Oh, uh, finders keepers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take the supply pods. I don't care. What do we get? Electronics? Don't mind if I do. I think it'll be polymers. Or machine parts. Aha. Yep, I'm totally okay with that. We're low on polymers because we did actually use a fair bit for this dome, but overall we should be okay. You over here are going to go soybean, soybean. How's this farm coming along? Okay, not quite there yet because they did do a potato segment. Um, I'm going to go and get another universal storage right here and perhaps a food depot right over here as well. And maybe a seed one, because we might produce some seeds. And do that. Crank the desired amount up. Eh, I don't know. Um, can I hold control? Yeah, there you go. We'll set them all. Uh, hold on, no, we have to set them all at like two. Because I don't want the universal depots that are not for my domes. Yeah. To request more things. I forgot. I'm dumb. And you over here. Yeah, try to keep 15 of everything. Colonists Please and departing. thank you. Of course, they can have more than that. Oh. All right, we'll do this then. Low storage of polymers. Yeah, we're going to need to get another uh, polymer production spot going on. Anomaly found. New colonists have arrived. If I could get it sort of in the middle of all these, it wouldn't be bad. I guess I've got money. What I'll probably do, although I, I am going to do this as well. I want to make sure I don't bot, uh, uh, block the uh, the pipe or the, the tunnel area. Um, we'll get this going. Crop we will import failure. some. Crop failure. Oh, that's over here. It's not a real crop failure. It's okay. We got unemployed somewhere. You need to be repaired again. Although, oh, this did get finished up. Oh, was I trying to send an explorer over to a vista? No, I think we did. There was something here. Still, and you are automatically doing some stuff now. Good, 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 good. Anomaly analyzed. Science, good. We're about to finish water conservation system, which is gonna be very nice. You are gonna return home. Probably have to buy some polymers. Research complete. Research anomaly. complete from the anomaly. There's our water conservation. So that's really, really nice. I mean, it doesn't eliminate all water consumption, just I think the dome itself, so not the farms, for example. So this is a long research, the moisture farming. I don't know if we need to do it now. I think maybe I will actually turn it off. I'll, I'll add it to the queue again. But our water situation should mostly be okay. Auction production, or sorry. Water production, water demand. It'd be nice if it showed us our maximum possible water production. But if we find like one of these places where we're mining water, yeah, we're only using about half of our possible production from our um, water extractors. So that's pretty good. Power is low, uh, low during the day. All right, let's um, build a great deal more solar panels. Now, the effectiveness of solar panels will drop as the atmosphere level increases because the air is going to block some of the solar effects. But then our wind turbines are going to become more efficient to compensate. Still, we have 0% atmosphere right now, so we've got a long way before we have to start worrying about that. Okay, there we go. So net power during the day. Try to pay attention at night to see what the situation is there. University still going well. Shuttle's on its way back. Yeah, I mean... Consumption and maintenance. Yeah. What's actually consuming the polymers? Do we have a little art um, installation? We might. So open the second shift. I'll upgrade you to the AI. So you need water and fuel. I mean, we've got fuel production over here and things. Actually, I'm going to turn this guy on. Okay, we actually... You know what? Maybe I'll turn all the... 
of fuel for Heinrichs on. I still have them on lowest priority here. But yeah, we'll turn them back on because we don't have a lot of fuel left, as it turns out. You're waiting on seeds, you're waiting on seeds. These things also consume water. Yeah, very little water production per soul right now. These small lakes really don't do much. I don't know how many lakes we're going to have to spam to help evaporate water into the atmosphere. And maybe there's another way to generate more water in the atmosphere, too. Uh, what is this? Metals. What are metals doing here? It's just been one of our automated pickups or something that did something weird. I don't know. So you're waiting for people. Uh, we do have a shuttle. So passenger rocket and launch. And yeah, maybe I will go and research this shuttle thing. And I'll put it at the top of the queue. It's fairly cheap. So we'll have a few more passengers. There's a second one. I don't know if we need the second passenger, you know, more passengers per trip sort of thing, but we'll see. Funding received. Funding received. That's just our automated shuttle, which is going to continue to do that. Um, yeah, okay, so power at night's really bad. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here. Drop in some wind turbines. And I guess the other thing which I still want to do is low-G polymer these things. Resources or low-G turbine these things, but we do need a lot of polymers to get that done. Still, it does mean in the long run, much less maintenance, because you don't need as many machines. Okay, I'm going to control Q. All the large turbines, we're going to go ahead and get them to upgrade. More power means more science, too. These are back on. So water production is up to 18 from what it was, like 13.5 or something. So yeah, we are hammering the water a lot more. We could amplify the water extractors, but that's so much power consumption. No workers here, but this was set to the low priority one, so I'm okay with that. And yeah, we'll open up second shifts over here, but right now we don't have the people for it. All right, but at least our resources are mostly okay. Especially now that we've got the second polymer place. These all engineers? Yeah. Very nice. Much more schooling going on still. That's looking good. Speaking of schools, all right, four kids over here. Trying to give them the dreamer traits. Lots of metal. That's mostly our little transport. Uh, we do have an earth-sick person. But, I, you know, I don't think we're getting nearly as many as before. What's our population at? 170. What's our next milestone that we might be looking at? Oh, all sponsor goals, 500 colonists, megadomes. Over here, 35% overall terraform progress. We're pretty far from that. We do get 10,000 science from it. Research. The terraforming is like, this is a much bigger job than before. Compact passenger module, so we can bring more people on the next trip. Which I think, yeah, we will appreciate. We will, we will put it to good use. And it doesn't actually help run things that much smoother, and yet, sort of. And at least now we're getting money. At some point these will run out, but that'll be okay. At some point we'll just have to start researching deep scanning. I suppose I might add it to the queue now. We'll add the deep scanning. You know, not making it a priority, but making sure it's in there. Making sure we don't, you know, build things in the wrong position everywhere, but I think overall we'll be fine. So these are here. We did shoot through a lot of the polymers. We'll probably give an upgrade to the, uh, the regular wind turbines as well. Are they cheaper? Yeah, I think there's two. I think these were three. So I guess that's the sort of cost balanced. Okay. I don't, I want to make sure I don't run out of polymer just for maintenance, but yeah, I'll be ready. Yeah, see low storage. I'll be ready to upgrade the other things, the other turbines once this uh, storage gets a little bit higher. Speaking of, let's go ahead and put a little depot over here for polymers. I mean, we got the universal one, but let's make sure we've got plenty of storage available for that. So you got lots of residential space, not that many workspaces, although again, we'll do the night shift over here, and then later on we'll get the Hawking's Institute, which probably... There we go, add that to the queue, because we want to build two Hawking's Institutes in here as well. Really get a dome specialized for this. Um, social, medical, full. Okay, you're not complaining about anything being missing so far, so that's good. Although, yeah, if we do look at one of these scientists, 
social relaxation gaming okay so they want gaming so a gambling hall would certainly satisfy it's not the only way but i think it's probably a good thing for us to build a casino complex yeah i'll build it here uh, maybe i want to put all the labs in one place just just for cuz Hello, Palmers, but it is going up. A little bit of funding. And so, passenger rocket will bring 22 with us and launch. We're starting to bring the non-specialized people now, but that's okay. Because we can graduate more of them. All right. Okay. I would like to get more terraforming going, though. Bulldozer, I was going to say it's probably way off in the middle of nowhere. Let's bring you a little closer so you don't get smacked by a random rock and then turned off. Same thing with the RC Commander and the Explorer. Just bring it so it's near Drone Hub. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I will flatten some landscape up over here. Uh, let me shrink this down a little. just to make it a little bit easier maybe oh look at her I, do we, we may have the nanites i don't remember but the drones are working here you can see this flattening super fast super fast super fast sorry i, I don't know it's that game super hot it just like stayed in my brain hardcore with this like mimetic sort of phrase which i guess was sort of the point it even had like sort of a bit of a mind control theme so i get that but Sometimes it comes out in the, stream, the videos. Okay, we have many billions of dollars. That's nice to see. So we could ship more goods if we need to, although we don't need to right now. We could build another, buy another rocket if we wanted to. I could turn off the uh, trading of rare resources, rare metals, but I don't know. I guess I'll leave it on. Well, I don't know. Maybe the next time the rocket comes, I'll try to remember to turn it off. Any chance I can do spy jobs again? Yeah. Let's do it. I like that tech. Let's talk about techs, baby. Carbonate processing, magnetic field generator. Um, oh, it's a wonder. Oh, it's a one-shot building. I mean, I don't know how much atmosphere we're actually would lose. I'm assuming it's more of a problem. <laughs> Rendering domes and pressure suits obsolete. Yeah, I'm assuming the loss of atmosphere maybe goes up as you have more atmosphere. That's how I would code it. But maybe that's not how it is. We may not have to prioritize the magnetic thingy. I'm gonna turn it off for a bit. Just We'll see what happens with just a carbonate processor and then move on from there. Because the moisture farming would still be nice to grab a little sooner. All right, so we got a casino. Having some fun. Vacant work slots, yes, but we'll turn more of that on soon. You're you're going back. Oh, so you're the one I think who's landing right here. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn off the automated stuff. And get you oh subsurface heating. We don't need that tech, but you know, unlocking tech still leads to reviewing more techs. So that's okay. But yeah, we're not in an area with cold um cold waves although since like you can disable cold waves at reaching 50 percent temperature now settling in an area with cold waves isn't so bad some people suggested for our next run of this play somewhere with all the disasters turned to max since they can eventually all be overcome i think the dust storms can as well i guess we can see from this screen over here meteor storm ends dust storm ends cold wave ends Huh. So maybe, yeah. Um, you're ready to land after your successful espionage. And then we have to send one more to China. Excellent. I think there's always a risk of failure, but as long as it doesn't say anything about, you know, a higher risk of failure, um, I'm going to send them all the time. Especially now that we'll actually have officers to spare and whatnot. Because one of the things with having the school and one of the security stations is they will make sure that we're producing officers because the security station needs nine officers. Atmosphere is... Oh yeah, so we get a hint about it now because we have unlocked the carbonate processor. 
and we covert ops to get some science. So what I'm gonna do is the carbonate processor, does it produce dust? Very expensive to build. Waste rock and CO2, improving the atmosphere. It's huge. I'm gonna go and get you in right here and I'm gonna set this dumping site I'm gonna set the desired amount to the max here so that um, drones and everyone will move waste rock to here to make sure this has always got the resource and that's where we're sort of gonna consume our waste rock. There you go, start developing some atmosphere. Resources are and then you'll have to get more lakes. Can I build lakes now? I think maybe. No, okay. I guess I don't have that tech. Tech advancement, good. Moisture farming there. Oh, I guess I have to put the uh, the lake crafting back in. I'll push back the deep scanning. Moisture farming, fine. Martian suit of science, fine. There we go. Needs a lot of material. Uh, we're actually super low on machine parts. Do I have a rocket at home? No, not right now. There are earth sick colonists. Earth sick colonists, oh well. Okay, that was the last spy mission. So we'll send these guys back. Colonists are I guess you're not a, ending up with much fuel because it's being sort of consumed locally here. This might not be the best place to like keep spamming down these rockets. I don't know, it's okay. But yeah, we'll send some resources from home. Uh, it's interesting, I guess we're consuming a lot of machine parts. Oh, the maintenance is quite high too. Because this is, oh, this is still not working its full set of ships. Okay, at this point, honestly, let's increase the priority of this bad boy. Yeah, you have still tons of empty, unused space here. Comfort's actually pretty good, an average of 64. We do have an infirmary, so you're definitely, you know, you can make babies. The doorbell is ringing, that's interesting. Oh my god, 47 minutes into the video, I gotta put a cut in here anyway. Folks, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time.